Hey, Joe, very, very interesting product here from Owner and Sammy Labs. Metal 3D printing. Yeah, Can you just right. tell us what the technology is, please? Okay, that's true. There are so many different uh, technologies in metal 3D printing. They differ from each other, from the heat source and the material that you're using to print, the state of the material. In this case, we are using powder and the heat source is a laser. So that's why this is the uh, powder bed laser laser beam fusion machine. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, it's it's uh, the, maybe the most common technology in 3D printing. Sure. Um an, an, an owner, they're not known for metal 3D printing, obviously Sammy Labs are. Yeah. So what was the idea of the collaboration? Why was this product brought to the market? Yeah, we were seeing in the market that the, most of the manufacturers of this kind of machines, they are trying to go to the, let's say, high-tech machines. So they are making maybe the, the process kind of expensive and not affordable for most of the people. So we went in another way and said, okay, uh, we can do that machine. Let's do. Let's say. Let's do that machine as simple as possible, so it can be more cheap and more affordable for the common people to that they want to start in this technology mm -hmm. or get into it. And if we look at the machine now, yep. obviously we can tell it's a nice touchscreen control. It seems very easy to use. Is it? Yeah. The the good thing of this machine, as I told you before, we want to do it as more as simple as possible. So yeah, it's really intuitive, and uh, you have the the basic uh, uh, what the basic that you need for do real uh, professional 3D metal parts. And as it stands today, uh, you have two materials. Yeah, uh, this is a launch of the this project. We are doing we did it last year, and uh, we are beginning with this. So in this moment, we are just working with the steels, uh, stainless steel and uh, maraging or tool steel mm -hmm. and in this moment what that's it, that's what we offer but maybe in the future we will work mm -hmm. with another ones too and, and people watching this video they're going to be interested uh, about the quality of the material so do you know what porosity the material is likely to be the porosity yeah yeah we are close to the 99 point let's say six five really close to high values of uh, porosity and density yeah so basically you, you were met, even though this is a cost and cost effective machine yeah you, there's no loss in quality in the, in the end result the material no 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 that's uh it, yeah it, even even if it's a cheap machine or cheaper machine the the quality of the components is also really good yeah so where do you see the machine fitting in the market do you see it for people who have already got expensive machines or maybe is it for the people who would like you know, they'd, they'd, li they'd like a metal 3D printer, but maybe it's been too expensive for them previously. Yeah, that's it. We, we see the, the machine that people that they want to get into this technology and they, but they can't afford those expensive machines, maybe universities, to teach new designers that they can develop new products with 3D printing, gaining some complex and difficult things that they were not able to do with the other old manufacturing methods. Mm -hmm. And I know there's going to be new other products that follow this one in a similar space. Okay, let's say then, uh, <coughs> now we just launched this product, but maybe with the time we hope to make some like, different, different sizes, different lasers, uh, products as well. So if we look at the UK market and well, the, the global market really, you know, why is, why is a manufacturer going to invest in this technology ahead of somebody else's? Yeah, uh, what uh, we were looking for with this project and this machine is that uh, to make something affordable to the people to get into the technology in a really industrial and professional way.